Hello everyone! In this video we will learn how to make a simple planogram with a seamless looking background and learn how to load and apply different patterns onto different objects. This is what the finished product should look like and um, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're going to do is go ahead and go to File, New and set your measurement. Once you have your artboard set up, you're going to go ahead and go to File and open or insert all of your different images that you would like to use in your planogram. To save us some time, I have already decided to use these two watercolor um, images. These are just copies of each other and this little girl. I have already selected this jacket that I uh, created in um, Adobe Illustrator that I was able to import into Photoshop. And lastly, I have my text looking like so. To go ahead and get started, the first thing I would like to do is rotate my watercolor image. I would go ahead and click back on my marquee tool, right click, choose the free transform or command T. And I'm simply going to go ahead to the um, horizontal skew and set it to 180. The next thing I would like to do is to go ahead and add um, a few layer masks that would make these two uh, watercolor images seem a little more seamless and as if they were um, a part of the background. To do so, I'm going to go ahead and select my first um, uh, layer image and I'm going to go ahead and go ahead down here and click on add layer mask. Now that I have created my layer mask, I will choose, as you may remember from our class, I will choose the gradient. I'm going to go ahead and apply the same method for the girl. I'm going to click on my layers masks and create another layer. Now that I have compiled these three images into sort of one, um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, apply different um, uh, blending modes. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start with the uh, watercolor images. Choose the luminosity. I'm going to go ahead and go to my girl and instead of applying a blending mode, what I'm going to do is create new hue and saturations layer uh, because I'd like to change her outlook a little bit. And I think I'm happy with how this is turning out. Here's the fun part. How do you apply and load patterns? Well, the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to load your patterns. You're going to go ahead and uh, click on edit. Scroll all the way down to presets. Click on presets manager. You're not going to want to load brushes. You're going to want to load patterns. Go ahead and select that option. As you can see, I already have loaded quite a lot of patterns um, and these options will be available to you as well. So um, this file I will be sure to hand out to you. So you're just going to go ahead and select that option and click open. Since mine are already loaded, I'm just going to go ahead and click done. There are multiple different commands and tools you can use to apply pattern to an object. Uh, my favorite one, which is probably the very very easy one is to just go ahead and select your magic wand tool to select the areas you would like to color in. You could use the paint bucket by selecting on it and then going to edit, fill, and then usually it's going to be set to foreground color. But what you're going to do is go ahead and click on contents and select pattern and you're going to choose any one of the patterns you would like. Another very simple and easy option to cut a few steps is to go all the way down to the black and white cookie and choose pattern. And now you can go ahead and select your pattern. So this is something that I'm interested in. The cool thing here is that if you are not happy with how the pattern is looking, if you would like to scale it up or scale it down, just go ahead and um, select the scale option and you could you know, certainly work with whatever um, whatever number you would like. If you're not happy with this pattern, if you'd like to change it, you can go ahead and um, double click on the uh, first portion of the thumbnail right here and simply change how that's looking. The next portion will be for you to display the 
uh, materials being used. To do so, you're going to go ahead and uh, click on the background, uh, background layer. You can select the marquee tool and you will just create whichever size, uh, you know, square you'd like. It doesn't have to be a square. Go ahead and use the same process. Black and white cookie patterns. And go ahead and fill with your material pattern that you have been using thus far. As you can see, this is not looking great. And the reason for that is that I'm going to have to move this layer all the way up to, uh, you know, get the ideal image. Now that I have moved uh, my pattern fill, I'm just going to go ahead and repeat the same process. I'm going to create my box, go ahead and go down to the patterns option. I'm going to find whichever pattern I used. So I think it was this one. Click OK. If I'd like to change it around and move it around, just go ahead and select the move tool, change it, move it. If you're not happy with the size, as you can see this one is a little longer, just go ahead and select the marquee tool and right click, free transform or command T. And the last step for you here will be to just change around or play around with the, the font. I'm going to go ahead and select the layers where the font is showing, click on the font toolbar, select that. I'm going to change the color to just, I think I'm happy with black and I could apply a little um, curve to it or a little style. I think for this one I was using the arc and I think I used 11% bend, something like that and I'm going to position it a little bit further down, go back to the fall winter 2019, same process. And this is the finished look. And if you zoom in, you should be able to see your fine details and such.